Oh no, the hygienic lining came out on me. Oh no. Oh. That was not hygienic. Welcome back, strangers. I realize it has been way, way, way too long since I have filmed the video. It's been almost two weeks, maybe more, I'm not entirely sure, but it's been a while and I have just been so busy. The month of May, as cliche as it will sound, has just literally just disappeared. I have no idea where it went. I've been working like crazy, three jobs every single day, sometimes twice a day, two different jobs, it's just been crazy. So that is why my filming has been really off and I started house sitting for some other cats. So it's three cats and it's just a lot to deal with right now. And I miss filming so much. I love sitting down and just chatting with you guys and just talking through things that I really love and that I wanna share with you or whatever is on my mind or whatever. So without further ado, I do wanna get right into this May love list. I don't have a ton on this love list actually this month and that is probably in part to the fact that I have been just so busy. I haven't really had time to experiment and gonna go out and try new things so much, but the things that I do have I am very, very excited about. The first thing I want to talk about is something that is very new to my collection and that is the Herbivore Pink Clay Gently Exfoliating Clay Mask. This stuff is incredible. It is a little bit messy to use. It does come in a completely powdered form, and I'm not gonna tip it too much because it will go everywhere, but it is a powder. It's like a really like taupey, rosy color. And what you do is you take this powder, you take, um, I just took a spoon from the kitchen, I put a little bit into a bowl and then add, slowly added water until you get a paste consistency. And then you take that paste and you just put it all over your face. I waited um, probably about, 10-15 minutes. I leave my masks on for a really long time, probably longer than recommended, but I really like doing that. I think it gives me the best results. And then you just wash it off. It gets so hard and just dries up. When you take this mask off and you are kind of like massaging it into your skin, that's when the exfoliation kind of starts to happen, which I am a huge fan of. I get lots of little dry patches and this got rid of them. It just kind of helped to brighten my face and just kind of detoxify it and cleanse it. And I felt so clean and I just felt like I looked so much more alive. And this is just amazing. They sell this um, at Sephora, I believe. I think you can buy it online. If not, they have an Etsy shop. And you can also find them in local stores. I found this in Beacon in a local little boutique. And I am obsessed with it. I can't wait to try more of their products. They are just beyond fantastic. Now moving on to hair items. I have two, which are kind of in the same vein, so I'm gonna show them to you at once. The Shea Moisture um, Hair Mask. And I have two here because it was a buy one, get one free at Rite Aid, and definitely look out for those deals because they are always on. And these are actually probably, I think, I wanna say 10 bucks a piece, so you save $10, which is amazing. This one here is to kind of help to repair damaged hair, while this one here is just completely like a spa treatment for your hair. It has everything that you need in it. It, it claims to help age defy, color protect, hydrate, nourish, nourish soften, anti-stress, deep condition, revive body, strength, strengthen, and shine. Now that is a lot of stuff for one hair mask to do. I do this all the time. Every single time I wash my hair, I do do a hair mask because my hair is super color treated. It gets very brittle and very dry and I use heat on it. So the more moisture and like repairative properties I can put into my hair, the more I do. So these ones I highly, highly recommend. They are completely cruelty free and I'm just putting that out there right now. Everything I'm about to talk about is totally cruelty free. Thank you to that person on Tumblr to basically changing the way that I look at things and I really appreciate that. And I know that I said I, I was really new to this and I am, but that doesn't give me an excuse to not try harder to find more cruelty free products. And this is it. This is fantastic. With the Shea Moisture, I don't find it gets as soft as the L'Oreal, but it does really make my hair feel just a lot more like hearty and like it, it can withstand a little bit of like tugging and not that anybody tugs my hair, but if they were, you could just tug at it and I wouldn't lose all of it or something like that. So I am a big, big fan of these and I wanna try all the different kinds that they have. 
and I think that they last basically forever. The L'Oreal one went pretty quickly. These, you can use the smallest amount and it gets every single strand of your hair. I am just in love. Shea Moisture has my heart. I can't wait to try more of their products. Just putting that out there. The next product is something that I am always, always searching for something better. I'm always looking for the next best thing in brow products because let me just tell you, these brows are insane and they are just a bitch to take care of and I can never find a brow crayon or anything like that that I really, really love. I've liked quite a few, but as I said, I really do want to have more cruelty-free products in my routine, and for that, I was using a L'Oreal Brow Stylist, and they're not cruelty-free. So, I went and I was searching and searching and searching, and then I was at Ulta just the other day, and I found the Eyler Brow Crayon, which is a super long-lasting brow pencil for intense color. And Eyler is not a brand you can really find in the States that well. They do sell it at Ulta, and I'm honestly not sure where else they sell it. I mean online, but besides anywhere you can actually go. And I found this, and I'm in love with it. I use it every day now. It's a very waxy consistency, which I really like because it helps to keep my hairs in place without having to use a brow gel because I'm not a fan of brow gels. They kind of just make everything crunchy, and I've opened the oven before with brow gels on, and they just feel like my eyebrows have all of a sudden just like been glued to my face. Does that happen to anybody else, or is that just me? I feel like that all the time whenever I open anything hot, and I just totally spit. I'm very excited about it. I have spit on the floor. <sighs> but yes, it's a very waxy consistency, which I love. It is a self-sharpening pencil, which is always a plus. I hate sharpening pencils. I hate having the pencil sharpener in my makeup bag because it inevitably explodes. And I am just a huge, huge fan of these. Um, they make a bunch of different styles of them, but the brow crayon so far is the one that I think is worth it. I was actually going to purchase the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, brow brow stylist finer or whatever exactly it's called. Uh, the classic little little nib one and then I passed by this and this is so much cheaper and I am in love with it so personally I don't see how the Anastasia one could be that much better but you know once this runs out who knows maybe I'll give that one a shot next. Next is a nail polish and these nail polishes are dirt cheap. I'm putting that out there right now. These are the cheapest nail polishes in the world probably but they're amazing and it is by Wet n Wild because Wet n Wild can clearly do no wrong. Um, these are the fast dry nail colors and I have only ever tried out um, this one which is in the shade Crying Wolf and it's this really really nice like taupey brown uh, gray color and I, I really really enjoy this color but I wanted some that were a little bit more springy so actually I just came back from the dollar store and I picked up Violet Tendencies which is a really beautiful just classic violet color and I am obsessed with this color as you all know. I have eyeliners in this color, I have like everything in this color and I love it. And the other one is Don't Be So Coy Like the Fish, like a koi fish, which is so cute and it matches my shirt right now. I clearly don't have it on, I have on like some Essence nail polish that is no good. Do not recommend, but that's, a, that's another story for another day. How much I don't like that. But these are amazing. They do not chip. Honestly, if I didn't pick at my fingers the way that I do, I don't know if they would ever chip. I have put, I've had them on for like a week and a half before they finally started to look like I need to redo these. And for me, that never happens. It takes like maybe a, two days. Like, these I do use a base coat and a top coat on, like a no chip top coat, but I use that on all of my nail polishes so it's kind of a constant. So this definitely, 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 it definitely stands it. It definitely withstands like life, basically. And I use my fingers a lot. I work at a restaurant part time, and I'm chopping up things, and I'm getting dirty, and I'm juicing, and I'm doing all sorts of things, and I'm playing with money, and all that gross stuff. And these just withstand the test of time. Um, I highly recommend picking up some of these. They're so cheap, cruelty free again, certified, and you just you just can't get better. You can't get better than the price and the quality of Wet n Wild. I don't know if they have like some sort of cheap unicorns dust that they use because you would think something this high, like this great would be like expensive, but it's not, so go figure. Next, I'm moving out of makeup and into fashion items, and I have two. And the first one is my sunglasses that I'm obsessed with, and it's kind of a dual favorite because the website I got it on is another favorite, so I'm just gonna combine them into one. And they are these sunglasses right here, and they are so cute. 
So I think that these are so cute. They have like these little, little cat eyes here and they have like this classic like circle, which is very in right now, that whole like 70s Beatles kind of look, which, but I think the cat eye is just adorable and these are just the plain silver with the black frames. They do them in a couple different colors, I believe, but I really, really loved these. So I picked these up on a website called Zero UV and they are just an amazing website. I actually heard about them in a glamour magazine, I think, possibly. And I saw the sunglasses and I'm like, those gotta be expensive because they are really, really nice. Not these ones, a different pair that were actually, I ordered and they were out of stock when they came to me and I just got a little note that said we were sold out of these, sorry. So that really sucked, but they have a million different styles ranging from about $5 to maybe $13, which is really, really good. Um, these I think were like maybe eight bucks and you know, you can get a bunch of different kinds for basically no money and in the summertime, Sunglasses make an outfit sometimes. Sometimes you can have like a super simple outfit and a pair of statement sunglasses and you're looking fly for like the whole day and you did it for like eight bucks so you really can't beat that if you ask me. So these um, sunglasses and the Zero UV website is a must see. Go check it out. Um, if you do get any, please let me know which ones you got because there's a million different styles, men and women. You can't go wrong. So good. So my final fashion favorite, and actually my final favorite of May, I can't believe that I had so few. I am like a favorite hoarder. I, these videos go on forever, and they might still because I ramble and ramble because I don't know when to stop. My last favorite though is this swimsuit, and it is so pretty. So it is the swimsuit right here, and it is the most beautiful swimsuit. I've never really worn a one piece before. I was not since I was little. And this one I just thought was really, really pretty. I'm not super comfortable in bikinis because they just kind of make me feel like I'm too exposed, like I'm in my underwear, and it makes me feel very uncomfortable and I'm not a fan. So, to Murray's in the box. I open the box and you get in it. Why? Well, I, I don't, I just don't, I don't, I don't get it. But this one here is like a crochet kind of material, so it's fabric-y, it's not that like slick kind of feeling that swimsuits normally have. And I don't know how that will fare in the water, but I don't swim that much, so I guess it's fine. And it is like completely see-through here, and you can like see your skin. Up here is covered, so it's got like a little um, kind of like backing on it, so it is opaque. And then right in the center here you have two little um, pieces of fabric, and so it kind of comes down a little bit farther. And it doesn't come down too far. I am certainly not a chesty individual, so it, it works well for me. And then the back is like completely open all the way down and it is so classy, but it really covers you up for someone like me who is not a big fan of kind of showing off my midriff or any of that kind of stuff. Um, I really like to kind of stay covered up. So this was a great, great purchase. I was searching for a one piece that I loved and I really was enjoying those cutouts. So this is a must, must, a must see. This one is from the brand Becca, I believe. Uh, Becca by Rebecca Virtue. And I got this on Nordstrom's. I will link it below if I can find it. I believe I can. Um, but yeah, it's just a fantastic swimsuit and I am a huge fan and I can't wait to go to California in this because it's very California. And when I get a little bit of a tan, the white will look fantastic. Um, they did do it in a burgundy color and in a black. So it's kind of multifaceted. You can get a different color that suits you. But yeah, I was very, very excited and I was burst it. I was just excited about the bathing suit in the summer and the beach and the summer and the beach so that is it that is the may love list as short as it may be sometimes short is sweet love is sweet you know let's go with that as always i will link everything down below so you guys can go check it out for yourself um if you do like any of these things please let me know and I promise, promise, promise I will be back with some more new videos soon because I really do miss it and I miss you guys so much. And as always, if you aren't already, please subscribe. And if you would, please give this a like if you did enjoy it and comment down below. Check out my social media. It will be down below as well. And, and as always, I love you guys so much. I'll see you again soon.